Hi friends, it's Marcy here from Stampin' with Marcy. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in southwestern Ontario, Canada, and I'd like to thank you for pressing play on today's video. If you haven't yet, please click that subscribe button below as well as that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos from me. I hope you all had a fabulous weekend. I know I sure did. I was away for the weekend at a two-day crop with my sister and we had a lot of fun. I personally didn't do a lot of creating. I did a lot of chatting. I uh, always love to go and meet up with friends that um, I've made at this crop up in Sobel Beach, as well as make some new friends. So uh, I didn't bring that many uh, stamps and uh, dies and punches and all that with me. I only brought a dozen. <laughs> And I only played with two. So this is the one that I played with. I've been anxious to get going with this adorable uh, bundle. You can purchase, this, purchase it as a bundle with the um, stamp set and the home uh, punch or separately. It's totally up to you if you want to just fussy cut things out. So let's get started. This is the cute card that I created. Just a really cute and simple thank you card. Oh, adorable. So let's get going here. Oh, I've used the, this is out of stock at the moment, but we'll be back. The Real Red and White Baker's Twine, as well as the Real Red and White Adhesive Back Peppermints. They will be back in stock, in stock soon. And then my label is from the Greetings of the Seasons Dies. Before he moved out, my son Connor's cat, uh, Sylvie, she um, likes paper, so she was eating some of my um, products. So <laughs> anyhow, let's get started here. We are going to cover that, um, we're going to cover that hole with our stamped house. So this is a piece of thick basic white. And my ink pad is the basic gray because sometimes I just find that basic white or sorry uh, memento black is just a little too much for me it's too intense so I like to um, use the basic gray as a new different option you have this stamp set if you do I'd love to know have you created with it yet there we go done with that um, oh my paper the designer series paper this is from the nests of winter gorgeous all right so let's punch this out first before so that I can see where to stamp my um, thank you so I'm just lining this up there I think that looks pretty good and punch as you can see it also punches out your uh, window that could be a window or um, our doorknob, a um, heart, or it could be a door on the windows on this, um, this stamp here. So we're just going to set those aside. Now let's bring in our die cut label put this over here so that I can tell whereabouts I need to stamp my thank you I don't want it over too close so that's going to go right centered there it's a little high but that's okay I'm okay with that my hands are clean I don't want to get 
ink all over. There's some specials coming up. Today is the last day of September. So starting tomorrow, October 1st, we've got some specials coming. So I want to um, tell you about them once we are all done here. We're just going to zoom in slightly. All right. So we've got light pool party. I wanted to keep my card very si uh, simple and subtle. So I'm just coloring my little scallop here. I don't remember what this is called on a house. I'm in the midst of my tomatoes. I'm late with my tomatoes, so that is what I'm doing this afternoon. Because I was away for the weekend, I have salsa, chili sauce, oven roasted tomatoes, as well as ground tomatoes that I need to do. So I'm just going to do the same thing here for the cute little house on the inside. If you follow me regularly, you know that I like a clean, fairly simple card. That's my style. Everybody likes their own thing. And these are the type of projects I like to create the most. Things that don't take, well, let's do our thank you, too awful long to create because we're all busy so if I can create a card that I can mass produce that's all the better right now this you could change up this I, I need st thank you cards I always need thank you cards um, but if you don't need thank you cards you could sub out that sentiment for anything else that you might be in the need for I next have to make a anniversary card. Tomorrow is my in-laws wedding anniversary. So I have to make a card for that. I made some birthday, a couple birthday cards as well this weekend. I'll be sharing them later. But yeah, I need to get an anniversary card made up. And then Wednesday or Thursday, the third is my sister's birthday, and I have her card. The beginning of October is always super busy for us with birthdays and anniversaries, because then my dad's birthday follows my sister's birthday, and then my parents' anniversary is right after that. So there all done coloring quick and easy like I said let's bring this back in let's zoom you back out and we've got thick basic white now this here I've cut a little different this time I've cut it to four and a quarter by 11 scored at five and a half all of the measurements will be found on my coordinating blog post the link will be in the description box below so my real red is four and an eighth by five and three eighths there we go
and put that on our card front. So quick and easy. And because it's humid, my paper has those fuzzies when you cut it. So I might as well start talking now as I'm assembling. Oh, I didn't do the roof here. I best be grabbing my blend and covering in the roof line. Um, so tomorrow, October 1st, our, we are having a kits collection sale. So all of the kits from the kits collection Please note that scrapbook kits and paper pumpkin are not part of the kits collection. They are not part of the sale. Um, up to 30% off the kits. This piece here is one and a half by five. And I am going to, this is how I flag. I'm going to measure, see it's one and a half. Let's zoom you back in for this piece here. So half of one and a half is three quarters of an inch. So I'm gonna put a little tick there with my bone folder so that I know that that is half of my piece of designer series paper, <clears throat> excuse me, so I can see that little indentation and you can go up as far as you want. Now if you have a punch you could totally use that. So I've just snipped up the center and then you could use a pencil as well. I'm going to take my snips and go from the corner and snip to there, this corner, and snip and there I have my lovely flagged end and I am going to take my bone folder and I'm just gonna give that bottom just a little curl up because I think it looks cute. I'm not going to glue it all down. I'm just going to put my glue at the top Come over here to the corner, <coughs> excuse me, there we have it, and then my uh, label is glued flat, and I'm going to leave that little piece in there, I put some glue on the back of that, and that is going to be centered, like so. And before I give it a good press, I'm going to lift it up to make sure that my thank you is not glued down crooked because <clears throat> that would not be good. Now our house is popped up on dimensionals. And I'm actually going to grab a mini because if you follow me, you know the minis are not in the um, product links in my blog post. I just put the dimensionals. I think I put the dimensionals as I was trying to get everything done. And this one here. I'm going to grab my take your my um, reverse tweezers here to then put it like so. There we go. Now we need a bow. I love this striped baker's twine. It's so fun. So another thing that is happening tomorrow, starting tomorrow, the kit sale goes on all month long and it's while supplies last. So I am just 
making a cute little bow. Snip those tails off. Grab a mini glue dot. Whoops, I forgot to take the end off my take your pick. And I'm just rolling my mini glue dot that is just rolled up a bit. And it's gonna go right there. And we are going to set our cute little bow right there. So adorable. Let's zoom you out again. There we go. And then we need three of our peppermints. One on the heart in the center of the door. And then one down here. And then one up here. So grab the peppermints. So we've got <clears throat> the small one here. Scoot you. And then a medium one here. And then another smaller one there. And that is today's card. Super quick and easy, but oh, so adorable. So tomorrow we have a starter kit special starting. Tomorrow is October 1st. So that um, starter kit special is you pay $135. You choose $206. So that's... Um, A bonus, sorry, <laughs> I just had a senior moment there. Um, generally, it's you pay $135, you get $165, um, you get $31 more. You can put anything in your kit, your starter kit. And tomorrow, also for demonstrators starts the uh, pre-order for the online exclusives that are available for customers. So we have some fabulous, I'm only showing you because I want, um, I want you to join my team if you live in Canada. So the Marbled Elegance Suite, you can order that as part of your starter kit. Otterly Adorable is another online exclusive that's coming. Uh, you can order those products as part of your starter kit. So lots of fun things happening in the month of October. That's all for me today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a fabulous uh, rest of your day and we will see you soon. Bye for now.